Come dance with the night with all your might. To dig the show, let it go to raise your eyes up to the skies, to swing your girl and make a world. Because this is a session that gives the impression. This is teach them at its best. And he will never let you rest. Boom shack. My old greatest tune time bend down the best disco ten down the best tune to choose when the least of all losers of sounds lift you off the ground. Now we comes out play with another musical list on the double to make it even wobble cause I bubble to teach them crew a bubble. Let me tell you about the sound I know. Teach them sound so we kill sound so. Now in the morning when the sun comes up, it bring Romano until you when we come and I know. Oh yes I know. Oh, teach them Cuba so we love you so I am here vibing one of the pace setters, one of the early front runners in Jamaica's entertainment industry. Oi. His parents named him Anthony Waldron, <coughs> but we know him as The Lone Ranger ain't no stranger. Bum shot. Father Ranger. Man as I respect me, General. All is well, sir. All is cook and curry. You see the man come out bling nice <laughs> studio and t-shirt. <laughs> Foundation the days. Original. Yeah. Thanks, man. It's an yes, honor, brother, brother. Yeah, man. It's an honor. Adisa, teach, 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 teach them style. No! Teach, teach, teach them style. Well, watch your man. Right. Oh, the interview, sweet, so. Do it! Oh, the interview, sweet, so. When you're young and in love, teach them, crew. Respect you. Murder style. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! So, Father Rager, you say all is well, sir. Yeah, man. I have call you, sir, from early. I'm not even waiting to look at the interview. Yeah. Yes. Living legend. Yes. Talk to us, though. Early life. Place of birth. Early life, I don't know, say, at Kingston, Jamaica, I'm born lying in. Lying in. Yeah. <laughs> born on the 2nd of November, 1950. November, man. Yeah, man. Give Scorpion. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and in that time there, you know, my mother was in the, is a nurse. Yes. So, but back in them time, the things had rough at Jamaica. And the time when Jamaica get independence. 62. Yes. My mother decided to make the first move to England when all the Jamaicans, them, the grandmothers and all the time, moved to England. Mm. My mother made the move there in the 1960, in the 19, yeah, in the same 62. 62. Mm. And then by 1963, you now, she sent for we. Our son can be disturbed my father at Water House. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mr. Waldron. A businessman. Businessman. Yeah, it's a family business. In the baking industry. Oh, okay, cool, man. The bakery cool, man. about the place, Water House, Jungle, Two Mile, Delacree. Yeah, all about. So you grew up in Water House? Yeah, before we got to England. Before you got to England. At what age did you leave? Five. At the age five. of five. And you went to England in 1963. 1963. Oh. Yeah, man. So yeah, all man. your siblings at the time are just you. Eh? All your brothers and sisters at the time or just you went to England? No, well, my mom, father... Have different have, to you? Okay. Yeah, as a so, businessman. So the youth for your no. mother? Yeah, we have nine of, there's nine of us. Yes. Okay. There's uh, four sisters and four brothers and me is the last one. Okay, watch yeah. the early settings. Nine, <laughs> yeah, so my mother of three, three boys. Oh, okay, so three of you went to, to the UK? UK. And when we say UK, which part of the UK you resided? In Tottenham, in Tottenham, not London. London? Yeah, N17. Yeah? That's all yeah. like a near White Hart Lane, man. Right, that's where I live, Argyle Road. Yeah? Off White Hart Lane, yeah. Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. I'm Tottenham Hotspur? Yes, yes, yes. We used to go to Tottenham County Grammar School, which is on White Hart Lane, too, you know, remember, you know? Oh. And Argyle Road, boom, boom, Tottenham Hotspur, football club. So, we soon come back to Tottenham. Before you leave Jamaica, mm. you went to basic school out here. Which school you went to at that time? No, I don't remember that. You know? No, you don't remember that? I don't remember okay, that part okay. at all. So, schooling for you in terms Began of memory? Began in England. In England. In England. Oh. Mm. I read somewhere it says you went to drama school. Was it drama school or just part of the curriculum at the school that you attended? That drama school I talk about was drama school in England because drama school was a subject. Oh, so, so like drama was English. a subject in school? In, in it school, in England. Drama school. Right. Okay. So, and from that, I know how to approach a stage, how to talk to people, how to show, boom, you know, drama business for right. the world. So I adapted, I adapted that to me from, from school. Mm. But then, in 1963, I can assume that racism was still rife and in yeah, England. Man, no. What was it like for you settling and trying to adapt to life in England though? Well, you know, we have white friends, black friends, but you have a set of 
a group named the Skinheads. The Skinheads with them shave, the med ball, and them carry the, the steel comb them, and them sharpen the back part of it. Yeah? Yeah. And they wear the Dr. Martin boots and Levi jeans. Yeah, them they about when you go to school and anybody see you, they will rush you. Yes? Yeah, they will rush you. You had any other experience? Yeah, but two my brother them are the ones who carry me to school mm. and pick me up from school. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, because one day my brother, uh, uh, I come from school and my, my, my brother and me come outside away from him. And some youth rush me. Same time my brother come up, same time. Three youth rush me and my brother come up, same, same time. And I attack them and beat them up, beat up the three of them. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and go home, yes. So, and, so you were exposed to so a little bit of the racism back then? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mm. No fight, no, no fight. fight. Yeah. Can't me come see my mother have to kick white people off a bus. Yeah, because, you know. Because Some of them, that were said them that yes, certain things that were said, yeah, you know, mm. and I, I, she couldn't take it no more because after a while, you now when they, they, you have a conservative party in England that um, that was what that was Enoch Powell, mm. he never liked black people at all, so he even offered to pay your passage back home. Back home, but if you do, if you take that offer, you, you can't, can't enter back, back England again. But my mother never deal with that way. My mother said, we can't take this too much English. So she would go pack up and go home. Oh, so your mother made a conscious decision yes, for she you guys yeah. to return? Yes, yeah, we returned. Yeah, and you know, we, we, we took the ship, the T and B go now, and see, because every, all of our you know, English people, all of our furniture, which she have, she stored them up, and pack them and ship them to Jamaica. Oh. <laughs> Everything I come. Everything. That's why we have a two ship. And I like where we don't come, because we yes. came with the plane. The BEA or the B O E S C. Uh, in the sixties I didn't plane they run from Kingston to England, British European area or British Overseas Area Corporation. What year did you guys come back to Jamaica? 1971. 1971. September, September 18. So that September. was eight years overseas for you? Yes, three years. Mm. And you were, what, 12, 13 at the 13. time? 13. Mm. So in that, in that time that you spent in England, though, right, what mm. was it like in school in terms of, was it difficult for you to, you know, fit in academically? No, school nice, school nice. School nice? Cross the board, school nice. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and you had a problem really with the, in, with the teachers, with the pupils, them. Everything was nice. Everything was nice. Everything was nice. So, did you now start to feel that musical itch while in England as a little child, or it was when you come back to Jamaica? Well, the musical itch, you, know, you see, my mother, you see, she made the last one, and me had the handbag. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything she wanted to push me in. She said, me go to music school, to go study music. She said, me go learn to play trumpet. She learned to play violin, all these things. And she said, I go to dancing school with the English cha cha cha, oh, yeah? the walls and them things. Like, you know. And so she, and like that, she can spend her money on me, pan. Uh -huh. Make sure she so have a really good thing and I'll be all right. So you were being groomed I was, musically yeah, early? Yeah. Yes. Mm. When, 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 when my brothers they want to go outside, go play, or go to the park, or go to the marshes and things, them can go, but me can go, because I have to stay with Chibikawa. She want to go a market, regular road, go supermarket, and she want me and me at the end, but which everywhere she carry, she carry everywhere. Yeah. Yes. So even before you came back to Jamaica, you were being exposed to the music, even though it wasn't reggae per se. My yeah. mother used to keep house party in England. In England. Yeah. In Tottenham at Five Argyle Road. Them time they keep the Tottenham terror house party, you know. Come here, look at you. Me I tell you when me observe my mother ready me say. All the, the, the living room, the furniture, the city, everything move up and gone upstairs and the living room clear. And I saw the, the sound come in and swing up downstairs and the... A big man. A part, a, I know I was part of that house, a dog house part, yeah. <laughs> but mother, And sometimes you upstairs in my room, I sleep and hear the music downstairs and me open up and look and the place ram and me go back to my room. So, was it Jamaican music that was being played or yeah, British music? Jamaican music and British music. Because mm. at the time, the artist them that I was hearing playing was a man like um, Benny King, Uri, John Walt, 
Silla Black, Dusty Springfield, Beacles, Simon and Garfunkel. It's a mixture of international and Jamaican music. Tom Jones, Engelbert mm. Umpedick. They're my people with me. I hear all the way my mind when I keep party. My um, Louis Jordan there. Ain't nobody here but us chicken. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. One job, one beer, one beer. Mm -hmm. Them tune never I hear as, as a little youth. Yeah. So you came back to Jamaica now. You were 13, we said? Yeah, 13. So that means that you had to enroll in school again out here? Yeah. Which school was that? Right. Me end up with Vaxa. My mother tried several. Several? Senior school, Kingston Tech, Start, Camperdown. So what happened with them school? Then? School is full. Full? Full. <laughs> so you ended up at Vaxa? Vaxa. Mm. What was it like though, trying to adapt back to the Jamaican education system, seeing that you never spend a lot of time here in school before you... Never really take a lot, you know, just the language. Because at home, I thought them couldn't understand. Me, me the, talk the British, Queen's yeah, the Queen language. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that was a part of me now. Oh, OK. But I come back to Jamaica as a star baller. As a star baller? Yeah, footballer. Yeah? Yeah, yeah because I mean, play football in England, the Southgate Panthers. And any home never leave England, I would play for Tottenham Hotspur junior side. Because we get trophy if you play for Southgate Panthers. Although my favorite team at the time was Chelsea. But Pick up yourself again. <laughs> yeah? Yes, man. Chelsea, man, man I tell you. Yes, man. man. Royal blue, no. two and two, man. Yeah? Yeah. I used to play rugby. I mm. used to play cricket. I used to play rounders. Because, you know, rounders is like baseball, but it's only a shot a bat. Oh. Yeah. I was very active in school. Very, very active. So, star baller Anthony walking at the place. Yeah, man. So, you play some ball for Vaxal? I go for Vaxal and go up on a trial, and right away we met the team in the seventh grade. In a grade seven? Grade seven. <laughs> yeah, ball yeah. for true then. Yeah, me, grade seven, <laughs> my team. And everybody used to laugh after me because true. My outfit when me wear, because when I said my trial, I right. wear uh, my rugby boots, me have, you know, uh -huh. and my, and my um, shorts, do as so. I basically have rugby gear when I wear, not football gear. Yeah. Everybody yeah. laugh. laugh after you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, was a man. Are you was the one? Yeah. Because <laughs> I play outside. My position on the field is outside right. Outside right. Yeah. Mm. And, and inside right was a youth named Dudley Steers. And inside left, <laughs> or outside left on the wing, yeah. was a man named Dougie Bell, the famous that Jackie I, Bell, the footballer. I never. Neville Bell, brother. Pro Doggy Bell with that playing cross. Mm -hmm. Jackie Bell, Doggy Bell, Neville Bell. Doggy Bell, me and him go to school together, we play. All of us got scholarship. Because we won 1976, our school won the Scotia Bank, All Island champion, county champion football at National Stadium. And we all got three plaques from the Governor General at the National Stadium, the Honorable Florizel Glasspool. And we got scholarships. Some went to KC, some went to Jamaica College, some, some got to Stats All About. Yeah. And yet, still, although I got the scholarship, I still didn't go to Jamaica College. Why? You got a scholarship to go to JC? Yes, football, to play football. And I never go. Music? Music, boy. <laughs> I thirst, Barnabas coming out to play. But you had a bad ball at that, man. Yeah, I play, yeah, play, play ball, man. Mm. Turn down the scholarship, man, because the music keep on. So, so yeah. which group? Uh, you are finishing. Vauxhall at the time or what? Yes, at, oh, graduate, oh, yeah, graduate, 1976. Oh, and you were to go to JC you now? Yes, the holiday come now and me get the award and to go um, carry my scholarship and enroll JC as a footballer and continue my career. <laughs> career? That, that stop right there. <laughs> yeah, so while playing football, you were then still hungry for the music then? Yeah, the music. And I go on good, I have read of a crowd in the music and follow me. Yes. And I have a record. But I remember 1976, you, you know. Still at Vaxal? The 1976, the answer my question, the please, Mr. Bassey, me and Welton are in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you are a star for your school? The last part, yeah. Me did a practice, I beat the drum and I go on to the class and I go on. But I had links. Yeah, you had links. Me had links. But before we come here, so do, <laughs> yeah. Sir Wal John. How did you start to get into the music coming back to Jamaica though? As a schoolboy, how how that part did go? Well, well after me coming and me settling and me start to go back to and me I listen 
the radio, uh, you know, I go to school 8.30 every morning, you see a tune play every morning. Then it's Al Capone, teacher, teacher. I beg you ring that bell. You see, if you hear that tune there, if you're supposed to be going through your door now. <laughs> to go yeah. to school for each and time. Yeah. I don't know how RG or JBC them do it, but them play that. So we get used to that tune and you know the melody and the DJ and me are listening. We don't know about you right and thing I'm getting and listening music more. Jayout, Uri, Irai, Al Capone, Dillinger. Dillinger. Yes. And me are listening to music. And it, it I, I don't know but it, it, it yeah. Hold yeah, it hold me. <laughs> so when we start, you know, when my mother give me um, my lunch money, you know, I just, when I spend my lunch money for lunch, <laughs> you know, we wait till when we get lunch time. Me and two of my friends walk from my school. We didn't take bus, Jerry was around at the time. We just walk all the way out town. And we, and we just walk through Randy's, Joe Gibbs, go up Chancellor and Techniques and Greg Rice and well, African Museum, yes. Then. And for ask for the latest you Rai and Big Youth. Cause them, the, them two man yeah. The melody, them style, them lyrics, them flavor, them train and them settings, all me. So we start to buy out everything when we can get with them. Buy an exercise book. When my mother gonna work. We play the whole Cause you know 45 them days they have the part one. A side, I flick it over at B side. So me write off the part one and my book the exercise book them. And yeah, when the version on the background. About so. My mother and they bought no middle and she got on stick it out and play it and, and mass tight. Yeah? Mass tight man. So till my bridge in Chester start going to look too little dance. No one me go with them. And them time they the sound, the rolling sound at the time was Arrows International. Arrows. Arrows as an Eastman sound. And you'd have Junior Smith, AKA Puddy Roots. Puddy Roots. Yes, and you'd have crutches from rear town there. <laughs> I run, I run sound as the, the, run the, mic, the microphone. Yeah. And Puddy Roots, me and him go to school together. And every day he must sing. Puddy was at Vauxhall. Yeah, I'm a schoolmate. OK, cool now, man. And every day he must sing. When, when we get holiday and lunch, and we go up on the mound, go cool out, he must sing. I used to sing like Oris Sandy, and it's true, he start singing like Oris Sandy now. It make me start singing like Oris Sandy too. And we did it and did it and did it until my bridge in Chester said, Come, I go to dance with Oris Dance. Yes. And I saw the name Express. And I'm going to take him for one night and my DJ and the place, Raman. I said, I take a talk off of the mic, you know. And my Chester make me get a talk off of the mic, and I'm wheel too. Original style, not my lyrics, you know. Yes. You know, you Rai are big youth or the ninja, cause them three things there and I write style, just but me I use use mm. them lyrics baby because yeah. I'm gonna shut the place. So I say, alright, good. And I'm gonna say, <laughs> yeah man, hey Ranger, you know, and then I sing too because you put it with the singing now and me I sing like Oris and the too. So, so you were a singer first? Yeah, I was a singer first. And they made up my bridge in Carlton Livingston. Carlton. And my schoolmate got Vauxhall so also. Carlton was at Vauxhall? Went to Vauxhall so also. Podium, Carlton yes. and Lone Ranger went to Vauxhall. Vauxhall and Johnny Ringo. Ringo too? But me just the first class me in a car had to read to get in Vauxhall, you know. Yes. And some people depend. But, but, but when my mother joined the line with me, you know, and the line long to the office, and we are waiting to see what happened. It's not like the rest of senior schools are where you have to go inside. This school, you have to read. And the people, the people them are read and they must stutter. And when it come up to me you now, and they give me a book, and say, I read this, I'm saying. Oh, Jack and Jill went up an hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came to me after, and I said, oh, we got an Englishman here. <laughs> right, so yeah. said, okay, boom. And they sweep me and say, bam, bam, bam. Bam, 7A. 7A. When I went in 7A, I was sitting down top class and there. <laughs> there was this guy with this big soul here in front of me, with him pick on, pick on. Well, that was Bradley Miller, aka Johnny Ringo. Johnny That's Ringo. how I met him. Mad! <laughs> 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 He's the Robbie, the class Shakespeare, Ranger. Robbie Shakespeare would play a bass guitar in a box hall in the gutter. So Robbie was there while you were at school? No, there? maybe before a year before, but okay, yeah, okay. He, was, he was a box hall student. A box hall producer for a legend, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. We live and we learn. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So, you yeah, know, you say 
you saw it go road, you saw it go a few days, you saw it get a one and two mic. Yes, man, and mm. it's nice and it's nice. Ch Chester have a bridge in with him, um, Tony Walcott, a Christian bridge in and Tony Wal bring Chester bring it to him and every Sunday, every Sunday we go to his house. Yes. Me, Welton Irie, Carlton Livingston, Dexter McIntyre, and supposedly Puddy Roots, but he was never there. Oh, Puddy now, come on a rear, sir. I was out here with the to the scene. So, we go on with the rehearsal and thing and thing until because Tony Walcott is a very good friend of Sir Cox and Dad and him's a man where I run dub plate. Tony Walcott supply stereophonic with dub plate, so, supply arrows with dub plate, supply express with dub plate. Mm. The man, they are roots linked to Sir Cox, yeah. So when we all have a ready now and him say, yeah man, we all have a song good. He might carry up to Cox now, come meet Mr. Dad and thing and but even before that, because I miss out a part still you now. I just sing to you know. As I tell you, I was singing. Right. I just sing and I just form a group. Me and Chester and Daidi, which is a male nurse over Bellevue. Right. Yes. But are the eye fenders? The eye fenders, mm. yes. And we did a couple of tunes for Channel One. But through Chester that run the thing, Chester watch where I go on. Chester says the DJ side of me. I kick more than the singing side. <laughs> yeah. Because me sing and Carlton is a DJ. Right. And then we make the switch, Carlton starts sing yeah, and me DJ. start DJ. Mm. And everything just take off. And we reach our cocks to Mr. Dad say, all right, Lone Ranger. You had the name Lone Ranger at the time? No. The Jaw name, no. Jawal John. Jawal John. Yeah, from Express Days. <laughs> yeah. Express Days. And we go to shoot at one club in a Rallington town, right at the corner, I must say, Carnarvon Street. One of them street at the corner. And it's a sound clash, and the other sound now have a whole heap of DJ on it. And they go and wicked and up, mash up the dance and thing, and boom bang and ray ray. And when our time, express time, become and now, and I mean, one you know, can you know, me one you know, sing and DJ, me one you know. So I take out the mic and I say, All right, no, Trinity, DJ Trinity, have a brother named Clint Eastwood. Trinity, that Clint rest Eastwood, in peace, right. pass with you. I have a brother named Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood do a tune named Eastwood is my name. But he say, right now, me better than Trinity, tougher than Dillinger, Eastwood is my name. So I, I, that come to my mind. Right there, so I say, I'm going to the mic and I say, no. right now, me better than Trinity, tougher than Eastwood, harder than Dillinger. My name is a lone ranger, that's why I act like a stranger. I don't know it come out, it just come out that way there. <laughs> see, see? And from that it stick. Lord Ranger. Yes. Before that was Jawal. Yes. <laughs> and, and yes, and it stick. Before that was Jawal John. It was Jawal John. Mm. Mm. So come the kind of interrupt you that tell me see a guy or a party or whatever. And you were on Soul Express at the time. Yes. Mm. Mm. So Soul Express was the first Sony actually. No. No. No, no, no. Alright. So when I go to school. The principal of a son named Hugh Johnson. Mm. Oh, I don't know if, he, if he's Good. the principal for GC Foster right now. Oh, okay. The big man. He did have a son named Black Ivory. Black Ivory? Yes, and he lived in Mona. Because my name is close, so he's, and he used to play a house party during school time. Oh, okay. And through him over DJ, he always carry me with him too. And my DJs, and them play Wolf of Soul music. But when them do black ivory, black ivory. But when them do play reggae, when that two or three, make a piece of the mic, <laughs> so people start to love me from yeah. early. And then from black ivory out to school, graduate now, I'm reach um, Ellison Road now, with Dunkirk. I remember saying my mother gone to foreign now and gone look better life America. So when we left again, when we leave again, can okay. Jamaica too slow? Mm. Go to England and leave me and my brother, my brother them. Out of East there, eh? Beaumont Garden. Yeah. Ah, Beaumont Garden. Okay. Beaumont Garden, yeah. Mm. I mean, I monitor myself from this to school. Yeah. So, I mean, I do more and do too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going late. But I make sure I go to school. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, yes. I've done advance already, so oh, I know okay. what I do. Mm. Yeah, so, and then end up and meet some bridge in school friend and end up on Brighton Street, corner up at Ellison School. We meet a bridge, Mr. Powell. Which is a policeman. We teach karate up a camp. 
and they have a whole heap of sun and youth. Arby Powell, them. Arby Powell is a, a famous man in America and Jamaica. Nothing screw, big time of them, yeah? <laughs> and them father of the yeah. son, they managed to spar with back in the days and him in a Dunkirk and a run Mary Soul. His father, his father's son. Mary, All the records. Mary then, Soul. Mary. Mary. Okay. Mary Soul. Mary Soul. All the records that I was buying during school days with how much boxes? Box. Is them I used to carry down to Mary Soul now because the mic is there for me to work out my thing. So that's where all my music ended up, all my 45s ended up with that sound. Mary Soul. Mary Soul. <laughs> Bryden Street, one Bryden Street, mm. Ellison School, right there, so. And then from this to now, further up more, you have Franklin Town, where Noel Smith, Skinner, Soul Express, where the bigger league. Bigger league. Mary Soul, a small league, you know, corner sound, play Where's music. <laughs> Soul no, Express at all. Yeah. <laughs> Soul Express now, I play the Kirkman, they keep dance, big mm. top man, they keep big dance, and I start go up there now. And the man them say, Yeah, man, Lone Ranger, if you talk to the sound, yeah. Puddy, I talked at the time, too. Oh, so Puddy was there at the time? Puddy, yeah, man, Puddy, yeah, man, Puddy was there at the time, I go and do him thing, and Remy, sing and DJ. And when me come from Mary Soul now, and when me come from Soul Express now, put it us fully deal with arrows and crutches. Crutches, uh, yeah. and okay, yeah. arrows. So you were the lead man on Soul Express? Soul Express, yeah. Me alone I chat Soul Express now. And I mash it the whole of East. Yeah? Rockford, Pullman, <laughs> Vineyard Town, McGregor, Gully, Dunkirk, Alman Town, Top Range, Backbush. So, Nannyville, the whole of them car and, and no, me not, not clash. Oh, not clash. Just got DJ sound. Just son. DJ sound and fling leaks make man hear some different sounds. And I would have you, man. And I saw me around the place. Around the place, wicked. Till one night now. Me have one place I hear so one sound. One sound. I play around a lady Musgrave Road. And I said to Carlton, he said, you know, I go check out. Yeah, I said, yeah, I said, you know, I check out that sound up so you know. Me and Carlton and a couple more bridging, Ever Reed and Robert Armstrong and my crew. And when we go up there, it comes like to the sound set up, it's like a plaza. You are going there. That sound big. Yes. <laughs> you know, you know, next, it's a soul's construction too with um the big man there, Mr. Cooper, King the Cooper. Kingsley. His sound. Mm -hmm. When you go to a theme, party back in the days. No matter where I'm playing, it's when you enter, it look like you're entering a oh, plaza. plaza. Some pretty light and some big thing making, and some running light, yeah. Nice. Yes, so to so was like that. Mm. So I'm going in and I see all the different type of people, some uptown people, some big people, and police and soldiers and them big time. It's supposed to be a good light. And a man said to me, say, a man come to me and say, uh, my youth, are you name Lone Ranger? I say, yeah, man. Because them time they know, me have a true name, Barnabas Collins. Barnabas I Scully. bust the place. Me forgot to Locally me, or? I forgot to my past. I should even reach all this way. Yeah, all right, okay, okay. Me never, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 1979. Oh, okay. So Barnabas Collins was voiced in Jamaica? Yes. Mm. The same brethren who tell you, Chester. Chester. Him and his brother, Chester Sinmoy oh, and Leon Sinmoy. Yeah. Them had a label named Trill Seekers label. Right. Sir Ranger, I know we kind of skip some things, but we will go back a little here now. Because yeah. when you were on Soul to Soul, you have Big Song of Road at the time already. Right. Barnabas Collins. Right. Right. Mm, dark Shadow settings. Yes. Talk to me about that now. All right. Before the Lady Musgrave dance, away from Coxo, Chester Sinmoy and Leon Sinmoy. We're producers. And them have a label called Chill Seekers. Chill okay. Seekers. Chill Seekers label. Mm. Yeah, Chisholm Avenue. Six to Chisholm Avenue. See? And uh, them give me a rhythm. Them said a rhythm give me the conversation rhythm. Conversation rhythm. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. And me decide to write. I write a tune. No, before I say I'm going to write a tune. One of my brethren, whom I go to school with, John Steele, he's an outside DJ, Owen Dallas, we go to school together. I played the rhythm and I hear it, 
And he said, Ranger, we need something about Barnabas Collins. Do you know me come from England and Dark Channels? Mm. And I said, all right, I'm going to write the tune. I write the tune, and Chester didn't put out the tune, but the tune is bigger than we. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it was bigger than we. We couldn't angle it. Mm. So, we had to run to GG's, Alvin Wrangling. Wrangling. And let him take it over. Ah. And him take it over. Boom. Mash number one. Jamaica, overseas. Yeah, yeah. Jamaica, England, it touched the British chart. It matched the whole world. The whole world. Yeah, 80 weeks are number one. 80 weeks. 18 weeks. 18, okay, weeks okay. At Jamaica. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes, like Love Bob. Love Bob, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And you see, because of that tune, Barnabas Calling, it gave me my first trip to France, to Europe. Yes. Yes. And that is another thing again. I better try to tell you everything. Oh, it's going up. <laughs> tell me what. All right, we're going to pause. We're going to pause right now, so I'm going to bring back to that. Mm -hmm. One night, I was DJing a sound called Virgo. You see, I skipped Solar Stone, mm -hmm. gone straight to Virgo. Virgo so much right. thing happening yes. that time, I remember. And I was DJing at 82 Chisholm Avenue, Sugar Mine at Place. And every time you hold the mic and DJ the mic, the people them beat down the fence and the fence drop a ground bluff. And the dance stop. Yeah. And the people them put up at the fence. The people them put up at the fence. And, and we start again and go on it beat and it drop again and that go on for all night. Yeah. But eventually, <laughs> when the dance is done, and I'm ready to jump on my bike and ride out, a French woman come to me and look a white lady cut me and said, Lone Ranger, that's what you did there. If I carry to France, do you think you can do that? And I say, yes. She named Ellen Lee. is a, a very, right today, a very big journalist from Paris. Mm. Ellen Lee, yes. So she said, all right, she'll come back and see me. And a month after that, she was back. And she came for me. Come for your ranger. Yes, because the same tune Barnabas Callings was wreaking havoc in the whole of Europe, Europe, England, and I didn't know. It was released on the phonogram, Islands Record label. And we in Jamaica, Chester, Leon, we didn't know. We thought it was just GGs and local production going on. We didn't know all this big stuff was going on there. But GGs didn't tell us that. He talked to Chris Blackwell. So Alvin never said Chris could come in our picture? No, he never tell us. He just make the deal as a distributor. So when Media France now, when Media France and all the big records shot them a call, my interview, and the man must show me my name on Island's label, big, I said, wow. I said, but I don't know about this. And Chester don't know about this. So we call Gigi's from France. I said, Mr. Rangley, what's going on? Pretty things are going up your island. You know? Don't worry about it, man. When you come back, you're all right, man. We don't worry about it. <laughs> so I come back now. I'm going to go check him now. He said, Raise the way you are. I said, Boy, I said, I want a bike. He said, Say money, I'm going to buy a bike. I said, I buy my first bike. The one we see, we see us up on it. Yeah. Yeah, the CD 175. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that go on good. And from this time, I took over the place. I took over the place. Yes. That I saw me end up in Europe first. Yes. Going back to where we did now. At which part now we did now? Soul to soul. Soul to soul now. Going as soul to soul now. And a man said, are you named Lone Ranger? And I said, yes. I said, why? Well, can DJ one tune, the hit song, the band of a scallet. Let me say, all right, no problem. I'm going to go up there and DJ it, man. And mash up the place, man. Mash up the place, man. And then after right, them leave and go up. Next day, me there, me I know, me only, me dog in my back. And I look up, I see some police to the gate. And I say, what are going on? I look up, I come up. And I say, police come, I say, you want to join? I say, yes, sir. I'm putting your clothes on, I'm going down to Central Police. I said, for what? The boss won't talk to you. I said, what do do? Don't worry about it. Just put on your clothes and come, man. So the vehicle I'm out here, I wait for you. Flying squad at the time. So, <laughs> <laughs> I took my vehicle. 
and go to the station. Walk through, see all the policemen yell me up and a big me up and me pass and go down the hallway down to a after the door knock and I say, Boss, see the man here. And I go in and I say, The big Sue. And at the time, senior superintendent Oliver Grandison was the youngest senior superintendent in the whole Jamaica Constabulary Force at the time yeah. who used to own soul to soul. And it's him who buck up in the office and I say, Boy, Ranger, me and Ray Gwari last night, you know. I say, eh, I say, yeah, man. So, yeah, what I go on now? You're going to start work for my son from as of today, you know. I say, but I work for your son, I express him, I say, yeah, you're not done anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> so, I say, but the money, don't worry about that. We'll take care of everything. And so, I say, about shift. Sure, sure. But I DJ, I DJ Sunday to Sunday, 365 days of the year, 14 Paris and Jamaica. Yeah, big league. And the beauty about it. Through 1979, when Barnabas was number one, Superintendent Grandison had linked with Synergy Production, which was Tony Johnson and Ronnie Burke of Reggae Sunsplash in Montego Bay, Jared Park, yeah. and get me a spot on it to open up. One of Bob Marley night them. I tell you, man, I'm in the backstage, man. Bob Marley was backstage too. I wasn't speaking to him, I just see him in the, the van. Mm. And he had, he had a little baby there, man. A little boom. I feel a Juna gang. I, I think I it was Juna gang. gang. <laughs> yes, I think it was Juna gang. Yeah. I made it a car, you know, I changed clock. Because the man said, Ranger, get ready because everything I'm going to start now. And I woke up so mm. bam bam, I just put on my, my gown and my back, vampire thing. Barnabas Collins. Yeah, man. And Bob, Bob was looking at me and said, We all right. I said, Yeah, man. I said, We all right, man. It's cool. A whole meditation. But my part on Reggae Sun Splash was not with a band. It was audio. Trucks. Truck. Mm. So I go up there and I just mash up. No, I do a tune. Engman Skanking first, which is, which is a King's Jammies tune. When we DJ in a dance and mash up the whole of Jamaica everywhere we go. So I decide to use that track. And then the big tune, Barbara Barbara Scullings, and mash up the whole place. Mash up the whole place. And at the same night after Jerry Park, you know, soul to soul come from Montego Bay. And we have how much parties lined up for me as we done the show. Pretty thing, nice things, man. <laughs> <laughs> Beg your piece of Barnabas yeah. people have not. Say that him coming on the night, say that round midnight, a rim no come, fi broke no fight. Girl me say fi out the light, lock your door tight. Barnabas a come, fi go take one bite, it was a dreadful sight. Oh, we bite Sister Jice, right? You show that you show about Jesus Christ. <laughs> take time, Barney. <laughs> Mash up the whole place. Yeah. yeah. And the next day now, Mr. The Star come out. The star, I'm, and told me, Ranger, you seen the star? And I said, no, I see it. And I'm taking it to my show me. And I look, I said, Lone Ranger captivate audience at Sunsplash. I said, wow. Even with Bob Marley on the said night. Bob Marley said night, the king. Me get that little piece there, me get that. You see, I right feel thing. good. I <laughs> feel good. Yeah. And then again, I go on with soul to soul. I go on with soul to soul. I mash up the place until, um, Mr. Grandison now has a big officer in rank and thing, boom bang, with the constabulary force. He was more, the government seen him as more involved in the music than the work. Yes. <laughs> so, so, them call him in and tell him, say, yo, we must allow the music thing, because the government, him, him, the soul is so big. A big soul. And we don't stop talking about boss, and him, the boss, him, I call up, Mr. Grandison, him, a big ranking officer, him, the government don't want that. So, I'm telling him, say, must cool off that and allow the sound business. And we're, and if you see from him stop, come at the sound and thing, thing used to slack off. Slack off. Slack, slack off. Mm. You know, they, 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 they everything up and ready. So, <laughs> I decided to say, all right, I move over to Virgo. Virgo. 1980, I move over to Virgo. Right after, lo after Barbara's calling, here come Coxon with the love bomb. Love bomb. Mash up the whole world again, go for British chart. And the whole, yeah, mash up the whole place. Reggae Sunsplash called me back again. Next year. Next year again. 
Jag måste gå på lite grejer med du behöver extra tjuna och lov på barn och massa och ting. Katalaga bilo, vi gick sen dem nu. Katalaga bilo. Katalaga bilo. All right. So, the Catalaga bilo, love bomb on the rise. All right, good. I'm here. I'm here. You get called for some special next year. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the Catalaga bilo. And then next year come again now. No, the Catalaga bilo. Mm -hmm. And my DJ Virgo. Yes. Virgo got the number one sound. Champion sound for 80. 1980. Yeah. Right after 1979, with Soul to Soul, I got DJ of the Year 1979. I won the El Susie Award. Sun I got Splash. the El Susie Award. No, not Sunsplash. This is this is recording style. Recording DJ style. of the Year. Yeah. Jamaica. I was the man. Was the man of the. 70s, 70s, 70s era. DJ of the year. D ninety seventy nine. Lone Ranger got DJ of the year. Congratulations. And I got <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. And I got the Susie Award at Curfew Place. Yeah. You know Curfew Place, my yeah, camp. My yes. yes. I pick up my award here. So I got DJ of the year and music of the year. Top music of the year. Barnabas Calling. Nineteen eighty. Virgo won champion song of the year. And Love Bomb was a, was a massive hit. Massive hit. I didn't get DJ of the year 1980. I think maybe it was. I don't know if it was when Yellow Man creeping. If it's not. Is, is it a Yellow Man, Ica Mouse, or Michigan or Smiley? Oh, okay. Because these were. The man them who right, now ramp for drop tone. Because when Michigan and Smile them Michigan come out with smile. nice up the dance, nice up the dance, dance off the cock, I have to come drop the band of a scaling. Yeah. When Michigan and Smile come, in at the rubber dub style, smiley, me have to drop love bomb. Yeah. It's him coming. The one love, and this a one love jam down. I have to come with a little bang. Slung and done everybody <laughs> and them said Jamaica, you know Lunja, we need the America. Yeah. 18th of September 1981. Me, Louis Lepke, Tristan Palmer, Tony Tough. Make an exodus out of the dance hall. Barry Brown was supposed to come with us, with us but I don't know yes. him end up in Canada. All on the now, before we take on the road with Tristan and Louis Lepke and all of them. Love bomb. You have to give a piece of song. Where I run go, Bridger. Zulla, la zulla, libang, right? A zulla, la zulla, libang. Well, watch your man. Love what I tell you, I love, boom. Bim! Love what I tell you, I love, boom. But watch your man, right? Oh, you get your love, boom, sir. Kick it! Oh, you get your love, boom, sir. Oink! When you're young and in love, eh? When you're young and in love, tell about it. Oh, the love, boom, stay, sir. Boom shack, only love bomb stay, sir. Say so that you come out now your face like a damn disgrace. Come out in a while, make your features look spoiled. Broke out, they come out and then they turn out in a sore. I love that, I love a love bomb. I love that, I love a love bomb. Right, tell about it. The next song we just mentioned. Which one? No, Rosemary, the song actually named. Yeah. They yeah, say so you will kill everybody. Hey. Sweet. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Big, big song. Big, big song. When I go to and it's one of my and it's one of my favorite. I tell you, it's one of my favorite songs. Yeah. I love to do Rosemary. Why? What's so special about that song there? Because it's a sing J. It's a sing J. Okay, I just answer one question when they ask so in the interview. But everything good, man. Rosemary is your favorite song. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but that was the first sing J song. It was the first sing J song. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? Oh, no, okay. the first sing J was Why, oh, why? Johnny make you bad so. Yeah. Why, oh, why? Go and sing it through the radio. Come and say, Granny was a you grown as a disciplined child. Say, Granny was a you grown as a disciplined child. He will live out a town, said around three miles. He will love to tell the truth, he will like tell lie. A special outfit said that a jacket and tie. Why, yo, oh, why? Johnny make you bad so. That song they write in England, 1983. Me and Tristan. Me and Tristan. Hotel, yeah, yeah. The Rosemary, you know. Yeah. Big song.
That is my favorite. My favorite. Real Lone Ranger socks. So, yeah. yeah. We're not going to throw that till they give a piece of the pickup. Hey, Slick Chick, one Fensic. Now, when it comes to musical, it's coming from out of my musical cocoa basket. Ziddly bang, slung, boom check. Ziddly bang, slung, even a star. Let me tell you about the girl I know. She's my baby and she lives next door. Now in the morning when the sun comes up, she gives me coffee, yeah, my favorite cup, and I know. Oh yes I know. Wow. Hallelujah and I love her so. Right. A ziddly bang, slung, boom chat. A ziddly bang, slung. Big song, brother. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. So you, Tristan, Louis Lepke. Yeah. Who else was? Sammy Dredd. Sammy Dredd. Sammy, uh, Sammy Dredd, oh, yes. Yes, yeah, Sammy Dredd, original. Went to, and Louis, yes. And went to the United States. All of us States. went to the United States. Left Jamaica. That was 83. The 18th of September, 1981. 81. To go to the Madison Square, Madison Square Garden and the Feld Forum because my name, Pepper up at the time, LP, the M16 album at number one, the Rosemary album at number one, the Barnabas Collins at number one, all over the world. So they requested me come up, and this was the team that went with me at the time. Tristan, Louis Lepke, Sammy Dredd, Tony Tough. Tony Tough. A big lineup that time. Big. They say, it's one, it's a, it's a, when that move there, that move there was the move that was running the rubber dub dance hall in Jamaica at the time, 80s. And when me I leave, and these were the soldiers, the man in my time, we have mashed up Jamaica, move one time. The last, that, that's when Jaro come in now, Kilimanjaro. The last dance Virgo play before him go to America was Skateland. And Kilimanjaro was there. And me and Jaro are bridging because Jaro and Virgo them is very close. Mm -hmm. And before I before go off foreign, Jaro said to me, say, Lone Ranger, I know you go off foreign now and everybody are leaving us, so we are going to take over this, you know. I beg you two artists before you leave, go to Jamaica. Get, leave two America. artists with me to mash up the place. So I said, all right. So I go, go back out of the east and I'm going to dig up you, 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 Madu. Ah, Madu. Yeah, mm. that's Asbert, Madu, brother. Yeah. And you know, I'm not left for Puddy Roots. Puddy. And I draw for Puddy Roots and I and bring the two of them to Jaro at Skateland, in the dub room. And see so Mr. Harper, Puddy Roots, yeah. And Madu, Madu yeah. And I tell Mr. Harper, I say, I want Puddy to be 83 champion singer for Jaro. I want him to promise me that. And it worked out. Got 83 mm. police, much mm. old place on the go on. Yeah. You did not come back to Jamaica when you left with Tristan and them? Yeah, I come back two times. I come back in 82 because I have to come back for Nicodemus. Because when I go to America now for the stage show at Madison Square Garden and, and my North American tour with Mighty Sparrow. Because Mighty Sparrow. Calypso Rose and Calypso all of them. Rose and all of them. Mm. The manager, we had the same manager. And he was managing we and and it was by the road, by bus, by journey oh, by bus, okay, okay, okay. on the road. Yes, and then, and then right there, so now, when we come now, and Virgo come up far now, my contract state that we can DJ no sound. Yeah. And that is what, that, 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 and the sound was my life. I mean, I, I mean, I really like, the, the banting, oh, no. the banting, oh. the banting. Me love, me love it. Zarto. Me love it. DJ, but me a rubber dub man. Me love a dub, rubber dub sound. Put on a dub plate and give me my mic and me sound of me DJ. That a my thing. Mm. So that couldn't go on. So. So who wrote that contract, Virgo? Sam Selkridge. Oh, the people. Trevor that Burton them were sent for me. Mm. They said no, no sound business. Strictly band. Cause a bigger thing, you know, stage show thing. I'm yes, a uh, big yes. artist. So me tell the Virgo team say right now, you hear me? Nicodemus, they have to go for Demos. So I come down, me come down in 82. For two weeks, I'm find Demos. And whip him away quick and bring him up. And make him DJ Virgo. While I'm up on the road. But yet still, although I'm DJ Virgo, although I'm there, I take a look at one piece every now and then, yeah. but I don't hold the mic. When yeah, the man yeah, comes yeah, to yeah. me, I go out with them, nothing I big. I violate my contract. I take a one talk to him already. But, yeah. 
So when you left in 81, mm. you say you came back for a short while, but then you actually started living in the United States. Yeah, me lived there from, I wanted to live there from the first time I reached there, because you know, the whole of my family, my mother, okay, my okay, brother, okay, my right, sister, right. everybody up there, just me alone there in Jamaica, really. Mm. So mm. how long were you there, though? America? Yeah, before you came back home, like come back home. No, let me tell you, all right. When I leave 81, I come back 82. Yeah. When I go back again, I come back 85. Yeah. When I leave 85, now I say to myself, say, you know, I mean, I come back to me straight. Uh, and then through my family, everybody's there. Yes. I look up my thing and I dig it straight. So how long? I live in America entire, in the world, 16 and a half years. 16 and a half years? Yeah. Mm. Then I turn rude yeah. boy and then me. <laughs> Send me down, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, you turn road boy and send it up. Yeah, right. right. yeah everything good, man. Everything, everything good. The record everything is here. Good. Listen now the gate fly, <laughs> and you know where I'm going with. Listen to the gate fly. Shoot the one. Shoot the one. Now the gate fly, tell me where they go try. Then as me a look and me now give no blight. From a guy sleeping head gone sky high. Poor baby mother, pure tears fill she high. Long time me did the lock down on the rock. Nobody never know, say me would have come back. Now see nigga up on the street, touch up behind me back. I sprayed pay every room at home, we used to take a slap. You know, the slap business will go over there in America, so. Yes. <laughs> so you came back? Being back, yes. Yeah? Yes. You were away for a long time, Long Ranger. time, yeah. It was difficult to kind of get back into the thing and... No, really, no. Mm. When I come back to Jamaica in 98, you know, I come back. Beverly Riley, Winston Riley, that Technics record series. Mm. Ranger, oh, you're going to do this. Beanie man and bun to kill everybody, take over the place. Oh, you're gonna get back in. I said, nothing, I just be myself. I just always find the road and I throw them, get back my LP them, get back my 45, my dance tape them, and listen to myself. And I do that for the whole of 98, 99. I don't do no work, nothing at all. I just listen to myself, find my tape them, and listen to myself. And then we start to record back. Carlton living sand flying every every summer. Mm. So I'm a born that. Yeah, Carlton yeah. a bridging. Yeah, yeah, man, him flying, him flying every time. Come check me, check me all right, and boom, everything. We use the thing up and thing, and in no time, we just make me link them with me, you make me European link them from 1979. We come back, make back to link with them, and from 19, no, we come back 98, make the link by 2002. And from 2002, Soul Stereo was formed. Soul Stereo. From France, Europe, and every year, four times a year, my tour. Every year since that. Whose son is that? Till Corona. Till COVID. These are my French brothers' sound. Brother Fata, sword. Rico, Tarzan. Where is the sound name? Soul. What is the sound name again? Soul Express, Soul, Soul. Soul, Soul. Which one? No, man, the, the one of France. Soul, soul Stereo. Soul Stereo. Soul Stereo. Mm. And every year you're there road at least four times. Four times for the year. Until 2020. Until, with COVID. until Corona last year. I go up there to do a big show. And I do, the one week I go up there, I have to run come back down before them lock up. Before them lock up? Yeah. I'm an elephant man and Rigan King come on the flight. The flight to the mall. Flight, yeah, yeah, I was on that flight. At 12 we come up on the plane from, from, from Brussels. Sleep never 14 hours because I don't want to fly miss me because I never want to stay in France. In the COVID time. Because probably I'll know that's still there. Because France still locked lock down. Yeah. Mm. So I'll go on. You understand? <laughs> so I'll go Work on. the road. Yes. So, so what you know, Ranger? We talk about Barnabas Collins, Mansite, mm -hmm. Love Bomb, mm -hmm. Mansite, Rosemary, yes. Mansite, mm -hmm. Johnny Mekabadso, yes. Big Sam. Yeah. You just mentioned, um, what is the song name? When the gate fly? No, the gate fly. No, the gate fly. The, a, a big song you're talking about. Yeah, be a big song. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh! Can I love some... Delroy right Wilson. Delroy right Wilson. We're not... That um, rhythm there. Yes. Do, go, do, go, do. You have song with Carlton mm -hmm. Livingston. Yes. Mm, Carlton remain a bridging down the years. For life. Yeah, you ever do anything with Welton, Harry, collaboratively? The first tune I ever did was with Welton. Which song was that again? Chase them crazy for Cox and Dad. It's, it's Mr. Dad, Liam Welton, you know. Yeah? The day, all right. The day we'll go to Cox and the very first time. You see, we'll go back all the yes, party. Man, we'll go way back again. Yeah. Can we lift up that party? Yes. 
The Sunday when we go in a cox and dad and the tree away and Mr. Dad say, all right. Ranger, you have to read him the way you want to pick. And I say, all right, yeah, man. Because I go to Vaxal, you know. And the back of my school, arrows live round there. Mm. And when I play the music, when I break, I lean up against the wall and listen to some wicked tune. Some wicked studio one. And I say, all right. And I just go to Mr. Dad and I said, I want to read him there, to read him there, to read him. He said, I'm a peace stranger. Look on the Lone Ranger on the other side of the door. I'm a peace stranger, I'm picking you know, up and mash them up, you know. And arrows me here, I play them, read him there. Yeah. And, yeah. and go to Mr. Dad and say, all right, boom, that. Arrows. So you say, I saw dad now, name Welton. Right. So Mr. Dad, no, after, after Mr. Dad say, all right, after I pick the rhythm, you know, Mr. Dad say, he might ma give us a rhythm, the Mr. B.S. rhythm. Which is Orison, the rhythm, Mr. B.S. yeah. So, Satisfaction rhythm? No, Mr. B.S. Mr. B.S., okay, yes. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, me and Welton was coming at that. Me, I sing like Ori Sandy. When you hear it, you know, it's not Ori Sandy voice here. You know. It's you. It's my voice. Can I tell you, it's a music sing like Ori like Sandy. Yes. Right. And Welton do the DJ part. Mm. That is the first combination duet tune out of Studio One. Out of Studio One. Yeah. Me Welton. Right, me and Welton Irie. And then after that now, my first single for Coxon is the answer. Answer. Yes. Yes. Then screw gonna not go three miles skank. No, you know, the, and yes. the one that eat them, shoot the one, I come down behind that. Whatever person was, or how do you remember Sir Cox with that? The legendary Sir Cox. Father figure, man. Father, father, father figure. Yeah, man. Father figure, man. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Father. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, man. Yeah, man. And you kept the link with him and Straight all these years until I come back to Jamaica. Yeah. Nice. When he was in New York, I was here with him back in Jamaica. I was here with him until the day he died. Right. Because him, they sent me out. The day when he died, he sent me out, he sent me to town. Yeah? Yes, he sent me to town and Silver Tones were in the studio recording. Because I me, me, me pick, me pick up a vibe to do a tune. Right. And I run to the office and I say, Sir D, you know, so I get a vibe to do a tune. He said, hey, Jackson, he said, go into the studio. I can call yeah. Jackson. I call him Barry Jackson. Say, go into the studio, Margie around there. Tell him. <laughs> and he said, go into the studio, I said, Silver Tones harmonize, so I come so. I said, all right, Margie, I soon come. And then Sir D said, run go to town, go take care of something to him. Take care of something for him. By the time I reached Van Orange, Orange, King Street, near to our theater, gymnastic, Jim Brown. Shoot one, big shoot one artist again. Call me, cause he was there. Mm -hmm. Me and him, they wrote Sir D every day. Oh, okay. Me and Jim. Every day, once Sir D there Jamaica, me and gymnastic, they wrote him every day. And Jim come and say, Ranger, come now, come back, stop where I have, come back. Sir D gone now. I say, what do you mean Sir D gone? And in my bar, and my cry on the phone. I'm just spin on and when I reach back now, my year up and them rush him gone to hospital and thing. It was it happened on a Tuesday. Tuesday. And and, and why I know it happened on a Tuesday. Tuesday is the day Miss Dad is our day off. Oh. She don't come to work. So probably if Miss Dad, it wasn't a Tuesday. Probably. She was. She would have been there with him beside the car. She's always beside him, so you know. Yeah, yeah. But it, it happened on our day off when she wasn't there. Mm. You know, so. Great man. Yeah, man. Great, great man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Rasta. Mm. <laughs> so after after Sir Coxo passed on, I mean, you were you were working with other producers and stuff, though. Yeah, man. Mm. Well, for independent producer, I'm working. Yes. 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 And. <laughs> When I'm a big man, I want to lead it. No, man, go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. You know, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, right now, for the, 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 for the millennium and the futuristic style, you know, we have Bubba Omar. Yes, Bubba Omar. One Tree Records, one man. Tree. So you, are, you have been working out with Bubba. Yes, and yeah. not only Bubba alone, but with Bubba El Numero owner from England. El Numero owner from yes. England. Yes, the man, they have a whole big projects in the pipeline. Yes. Dan Mafia, yeah. Gringo. Yeah. Once she records, you yeah, the whole away, yes. Yeah. Coming out. 
if it wasn't this COVID thing, I know, you'd have seen something. There, but don't worry, it has, the COVID has stopped mm. nothing. Because the man, the thing up and legit. Yes. And respect to Dan Mafia, Gringo, because, you know, he mother passed oh, halfway there. Yeah, so, man. you know, enough respect. Yeah, condolences to the family and the whole crew. So, Ranger, legend of the business. Yeah, the business. Yeah. We don't do that still, I don't do that. We don't. <laughs> we have a couple of more questions to run through, man. <laughs> yeah. You said that Rosemary is your favorite, your love perform, Rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your biggest song in, a, in a, your assessment? The most successful song? No. Barnabas. Between It and Love Bomb, man. It and Love Bomb. It and Love Bomb. Mm. Because them touch British chart, you know. Yes. Big songs. So, between Barnabas and Love Bomb are the most successful song, yeah. Rosemary. And Barnabas and, and Love Bomb go number one two times. You know. In Jamaica? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because <clears throat> at the time when Love Bomb was number one, you had Ika Mouse there with him, Awadu them. Awadu them. You have Awadu General them. Echo there with him, Arlene. You have disease. Michigan and Smiley diseases. and name out the place with them diseases. And the stamper got broke. The stamper got broke. Yeah. Love bomb stamper broke and cocks in there in England. And tune I said and tune. Tune the stamper there. Now nah, it's it kind of slow on the press. Ah. Yes, and, and, and tune come over and, and go number one. He come out, come go number one. And when cocks and come back and press the stamp and release it back, no bomb. Go back again. number one and blog and then. Yeah. Yeah. Where is your favorite place to perform? You look like you go all about a place, you know? Sir Ranger. Right. Well, for them, you know? Yeah. 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 Where your favorite place? The place you look forward to go perform? France. France. I realize you love that France, too. France. Yeah. France. Yeah. What's special about France, or though? Why you love over there? They appreciate the music so much and them come out come and them bro. party. They party. And they know your song. Mm. They know your song. One of them study it. Is there any way you're not going to work it? Or you're going to go around work one of them time? Eh? Ghana, Gambia, them places. Yeah? You've never been to Africa before? I've been to between Ibiza Island. Yeah. It's a little island, little bit of Jamaica, a beer party going there. So. <laughs> a beer party, Ibiza. but it's a party island. Yeah, beer yeah. Ibiza Island. So you have not been on mainland Africa yet? We got Israel in place. We got Israel. We got Israel. Okay. Yeah. Israel. What was Israel like though? Mud. The music take on Mud. Eh? What? Mud. Eh. Mud. Go Israel about three times. About three times. Yeah, man. Oh. Go Japan about four times. Go Japan about four times. Yeah, man. Go Portugal. Portugal. Go Spain. Go Italy. Go Helsinki. Go Helsinki. Yeah. I'm going to go Norway. I'm past Norway. I'm going way up, way up, but four little island. We do road. We do road. <laughs> we do road. We do road. We do road. See, you have to go Ghana and Gambia. Ga yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. And this is where one tree record come in now. Yes. God, this is where it. And them are pushing things. And them are, yeah. And them are the future the thing, Bobo. Yeah, mm. Bobo Red. One tree records. Looking at the journey, Father Ranger, is there anything we are not cheat? Uh, let me ask you that the other way first. What is Lone Ranger's gr single greatest achievement musically so far along the journey? Wow. Wow. <laughs> me award me get. Me award me get. Artists the government, DJ, yeah, yeah, the Lifetime Achievement Award. You were given a Lifetime Achievement Award? Yes. When? 2018. 2018. Yes, you see the Congratulations, yeah, man. man. You probably skip one. Well, yeah, you skip that. it. Everything good, man. Mm. Congratulations, yeah, man. man. Deserve it. We just come from tour with um, Soul Stereo. Yeah. Soul Stereo. But they are French people. Yeah, my French people. Yeah, I come down to Jamaica and then me, 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 the music industry call me Mr. Mr. Kingsley Goodison. Mm. Omar. Tributes to the greats. Call me Sir Lone Ranger. Um, we have a award to present to you on such and such a date. And then I say, Wow, I'm just come back, you know. And can you believe for the next two weeks, every time I turn on the TV, is it them I promote? 
me turn on the radio, is it a promote Mary Isaac? A couple of us were being promoted at that time. And this also was at Curfew Place. Curfew Place again. The same place. The same. I get the um, yes. Jarrett's same Curfew Place. Jarrett's. And it was so good because. You know, a lot of big ministers were there. Mr. Omar Davis was there. Mr. P.J. Patterson was there. The UK ambassador to England, Asuma Lamb, she was there. A lot of Asuma, member okay. of parliament was there at my award. Congratulations, yeah. man. So, you see, that now, that made me feel good that I didn't waste my time. Yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate it. Although music music. wasn't my career, it was my hobby, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because he's a doctor. I love medical thing, you know? Yeah? Yeah, he's a medical Before man. Before we so get to that. So, that is your greatest achievement. Is there anything musically where the range and I achieve it, where I'm still hoping to achieve? Like what? I don't know. Anything musical right, is... You know. Yeah. <laughs> We say, all right. Yeah, all right yeah? Yeah. 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 You have collaboration with Carlton Livingston, yeah. with Welton Irie. Yeah. Who else you collaborate with? Well, all, 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 all the people. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yes, all the, with, 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 the, with my Europe link. Johnny Asburn. Johnny Asburn. Because yes. I see a lot yes. of shows that Johnny Asburn were, um, were also on that show. A French well. singer named Give. Give, okay. Obaja. Mm. This girl that sing. Um, Oh my God, Jamaican boy. Jamaican boy. We try not to take a trip to go someday. Take me on a ship back with the two J A. Yeah. Be there. Yeah. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa of Soka, something like that. Mm. Big tune. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody with a range that I work with yet collaboratively that you mean I love going to the studio lot, one? A day. lot of. Give me about two names. Well. Who you know work with it, do a song together with you, then love going to the studio to record something with Big Youth. Big Youth. Yeah. Uh, a Godfather. Yes. Anybody else? Let me ask if it's two. Two? Yeah. Give me somebody else. I'm glad to you though. There's so much of them, you know. Yeah. There, there's so much of them, you know. Mm. Well. Even Bunty. Killer. Yeah. Car. And you didn't love that, you know? Hardcore. Yeah, man, you didn't love Hardcore. that. Hardcore. You're going to watch the interview. So Hardcore. <laughs> yes, Killer. Me and him father is a par. Yeah? Father named Breeza. Breeza. <laughs> who is a par with Coxon dad. Oh, Coxon. Bounty Killer father was a dance promoter. We keep enough for Coxon dance back in the days. Great Breeza. Yeah, Breeza. Basil mm. Dawkins. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what you know, um, Father Ranger, looking at the journey though, Sir Waljan, is there anything that you do differently along the musical journey if you get a chance for, for you to redo it? No, for me it's songs, no, for the songs we do, mm -hmm. if I did take it seriously, and not just as a hobby, <laughs> Yeah. I would have done it for myself. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So you don't own a lot of the music. No, we still have Carlton chunk to Carlton Living Stand again. Okay? Him, him, him keep track of me you now. So Carlton a governor all of them yeah, something. Yeah, Carlton have been publishing company, Ita Yeta Music. So anything we do, oh. no man can take nothing or feed off or nothing. Mm. So your publishing and your royalties are come true? Straight. Straight. Mm. Yes. Yeah, all right, Thanks then, to right. Carlton Living Stand. Thanks to Bridget. Board. <laughs> 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 you said that music wasn't a career for you. No, it was a hobby. It was a hobby. Is there anything that the Ranger love enough that if it was a music, we put food on the table down mm. there, it yeah. would be that? Yeah, my well, hospital thing, man. Yeah, EKG, that, that EKG. Man. Yeah, scientist, chemist. You are a certified EKG technician. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when we had the tour, you know, when we had the tour, America, you know. On the bus and weekend tour. Remember when the tour them done? Well, choose when the tour is a fret again. And in most of the man them like the man record shop and check two bridging and road so. Me 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 no, yeah, me say, no, man, me 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 very nice man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, very yeah. good man. But each time, at each time, I turn to it. We say, all right, see me get a chance now. 
Yeah, me wants to come back here. Nick Bobby, so where I go? <laughs> yes, sir. yes. How many children the range have? We range have 18 picnic. Nine girls and nine boys. Balance. Balance. <laughs> Netball team, football team. <clears throat> Na- 18. Yeah. I will be you that to the range. Yeah. Yeah, they are shot by the real ranger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they youth them good. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah all my life. Some in music. You know? Yeah? Yeah, man. Oh, nice, man. <laughs> Has a ranger ever been married? No. No? No. Hey, just a lone ranger business, brother. Lone ranger, boy, I'm telling you. Yeah. Lone yeah. ranger. Lonely ranger. Yeah. Who is lone ranger's favorite artist? Well, you know, Ori Sandy, Carl Televiston. Carl Televiston. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, D Brown. D Brown. What the baddest rhythm the range ever hear? The baddest rhythm ever hear? Yes. I have so much bad rhythm. Are your favorite rhythm? Let me ask you that way. We have so much of them. Yeah, you must have a rhythm when you go up on stage, man, and you have a choice. Give me that. Give me something. Answer, put on it. Something. Slang thing, taxi, something. Everless are true because. Everless. Everless are bad rhythm for you. Yeah? Yeah. Mad, mad, <laughs> mad, mad. You have a tune with you, Carlton, on the taxi with him. Mm. Walk with love. Mm. Do you remember that song there? Yeah. Beg a piece of your piece, so. <clears throat> I'm tired of this running around, but I just can't take these ups and downs. I said, I'm tired of this running around, I just can't take these ups and downs. And anywhere that I should go, and they would turn me down. I would have walked with love, sweet love. I would have talked with love, sweet little love. Mighty God of Daniel, stand by me. By sweet like a sugar said we brother. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's something that I want the world to know. Yes. This is very important. See? Yeah. You see the tune for season. Lover. Four season lover. Four season lover man. Yeah. No. That Leroy Gibbons no did for Jammies. Oh. That is my tune. I wrote that tune. I wrote that song. I recorded that song in 1985. And have Leroy Gibbon harmonized me. It was released in New York on Hitbone label. Hitbone is Channel One in New York. And somewhere along the line, Gibbons went to France, went to England, come back to Jamaica, and did over my song for King Jammies. And that became his first hit, which was my tune. But me and Leroy Gibbons is good friends. Because you get Leroy Gibbons, I take Leroy Gibbons from out of the church and bring him to New York and keep a big show and he opened up the show for me, a show with me, him, Sammy Dredd, Mikey Jarrett, the, 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 the Maniaka band, the band that played the four seasons of a rhythm, Donovan Ma- Danny Marshall, Donovan McKitty, Ainsworth Clark, big things. Four seasons of a my tune. My tune no, legally. Never give but you love away. Oh, so you own it still. I mean, write the tune. Yeah. I wrote that tune. Going to Chicago Stanko. to specialists, you know, specialists. Yes, man, you know, specialists man. Who control Shabarang, specialists right. and Bobby Grange. Yeah. Specialists, solid goal. The have a sound of Chicago named Solid Goal. The man that make me know the man here is Reverend Bado from New York, DJ. He make me know specialists them. And him keep a big dance and him call me in. And while I was on the plane, I just did and I just started saying, Whoa. Four season lover man, yeah. But I'm your four season lover man, so then. But I'm your four season lover man. So when the winter comes around, ain't nobody there to keep you warm. Call me on your phone line. I'll be there in no time. I'll be there to warm you up. I hear you on the background upon. I'll be there to warm you up. But everything legal. But just want the people them know. Is there a song where Lone Ranger do where him don't feel get the justice it deserves? If the people they hear that song, there, that song will then be an next monster hit. Right, but they don't know it's me. They don't know it's you. And me, I have, me, me have the original copy can release still you now. You're, you're talking about Four Seasons Lover? Yeah. No, when I know that, me oh. talk about it, you know, me I say, have you ever done a song yes. that you think don't get the justice it deserves? 
and if the people them didn't hear the song, if this jack is play the song, then be a monster. Sure, yeah. uh, no. uh, 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 uh. A couple of them, well, couple you know. Of couple of them, well, yeah. Top of your head, where you can say, teach them if that song didn't come a road, it then be a big song. Now, which song that I'm gonna pick now out of the catalog, man? <laughs> no, that's mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm here for yeah, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Me hear, me hear a cut, a Come out of them turn big song. Uh, most of them turn big song. Most of them turn big song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me hear, when I was doing the research, I listened to a version of Reasons. Yes. Reasons that you, you did a, yeah. a version of that song? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Me sing that. You yeah, sing it? Me sing it. Yeah. That no, that Johnny Asburn inspired me to do that. Okay. You know, we love Johnny Asburn. When Johnny there, Jamaica? Johnny there, New York. When, when come Johnny come here, me I need for reason with him. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. They are legend in that man, theater, You know, say, believe, that man come every morning. Yeah? Every morning. Great Johnny every Asburn. Every morning, Johnny Asburn come. Reasons. Give me a piece of reasons. Can't find the reason. This is sound. Sound so nice. Can't find the reason. I raise my body, it's almost real. Temperatures rising, I don't want to feel. I'm in the wrong place to be real. Whoa, I longing to love you just for a night. Kissing and holding and holding you tight. This is sound and the number one sound. La 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 la. La 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 Can't find the <laughs> You did the original version of that song? The original version of that Earth Wind Soul and Fire No now. man, as in the original reggae version Johnny Asburn did it Johnny and you do it as yeah, a just, dub yeah, Yes, because I did that song It's the reasons You see The one we asked for the first Right I'm tired of this running around This was the song and I did the reason behind that. Okay, okay. And then I needed one more track to complete it. To complete the tax rhythm. Uh, and and I sit down to myself and I say, you know what? I remember back in 1970, 1970, 80. Supercat and Early B come check me at my yard, a vineyard town, Magurga Gully. The time they were trees up in the behind Globe Theatre. Mm. And give me a tape, a cassette, with them, a DJ a sound here, Majestic. Majestic. With Danny Jr. Slick out of St. Thomas. And I play the tape, and the tape, bad, it, bad, it, bad, it, bad, it, bad, it, bad. Early B a chop lyrics, Supercat a chop lyrics. And just to say, this day, this day in Washington DC, me the Bebo International, the producer. Cause he wanted this them four rhythm here on it. And this one track left. And I said to myself, um, you know what? That show now with early B and Super Cat do. Learn to drive, learn, learn to ride. To yeah. As two of me, real artists them I love. And DJ and them rate me, them come look for me and all them back in them days and come here. Mm. I say, you know what, make me just Put it on the B side and complete the work. Man, the tune get big. And it, 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 I didn't do it on that for that purpose. Purpose to get big like that. That's why most of this time I'm doing stage show, I don't do it. Yeah. Because when I hear it, I say, then. Strange, you understand? Yeah. I'm listening again and I say, well, lad. Yes, it wasn't supposed to be like that. It wasn't so like that purpose. It come up like that. So I remember that. It's a beautiful song. Yeah. Ranger, man. And I know super cat here and say, boy, Ranger is dangerous. Mm. Ranger do it the right mm. way. Still, I love how I do it. <laughs> I've seen him for a long while. I've seen him out of Virgin. Yes. They yeah. just mentioned Learn for Drive. Yes. But they asked if a piece of two songs before we left. Love Lauren and Learn for Drive. L love Lauren, that are uh, 19. 70 something there. Yeah. Uh, Janet Sinclair, I uh, used to write in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Love Land, like Pastor Domus. Mm. Oh, in a, the paper. In a yes, Love Land. Oh. We have a love affair problem. Oh. You write in the newspaper. 
<laughs> then you must Janet Sinclair. Janet, yeah, Janet Sinclair. So, more, more me do a more. tune. Cause this all over, this all over love learn. Cause this all over, this all over love learn. Come and say, if you have a problem in your love bonds of fear, if you have a problem in your love bonds of fear, go tell it to Janet Sinclair. Come and say, if you feel ashamed, nobody write down your name. If you feel ashamed, nobody write down your name. Just explain the dirty complaint. So that me have a little girl by the name of Susan. Have a little girl by the name of Susan. But this little girl says she love her man. But when me take a stack, the girl I keep a dozen man. It's not right. Say, girl, it's not right, right? It's not right to keep a man with your man. Because then the little thing cause contention. A true word. <laughs> a true. A true. <laughs> yes. cause that be true. Yes. I learn to drive. Yes. Well, See in? you know. That's another song. You and... You have a song named Professional with me and Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How that song may come about? As we go to school together mm. and music together, we do everything together coming right up until we graduate from school. So, and you know, it's me, it's me bring um, Ringo into the DJ business. Yes. And it's me giving the name the Ringo. Yeah. Further down the road, and him giant Welton, and Welton, and other than the Johnny. Johnny Ringo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. Holy Pai is a father, Ranger. Yeah, we again. Yeah, we again. Um, as a man would have been in the music for decades, a mm. couple of decades well, is there any entertainer in the space that you would have played a pivotal role in helping to bring them to the masses, to nurture them as they emerge into the space? Well, we well, go way back in 79 when we just meet Tiger. Tiger? <coughs> yeah. Uh, soul to soul that play up a whoop. Up pass, up, up, up road. I don't know them places, Mona Ice, up past the uh, standpipe, 8 Cedar Valley Road was the original dance hall. Soul to soul, I played there one night. And me come on, I, don't, I ride me ride. And we try down to dance, I'm already and everybody wait for me. So I go in now and I go to which part the sound and show up and thing. Um, Rose Green come to me and say, Ranger, you know, say, one little youth about the place that so we come from the community here. Yeah. He would have loved to get a talker for the mic, you know, so he wanted to feel like he had one talk. So mm. he said, yeah, man, no problem, man. You understand? And then um, when things start to kick off, you know, I was rolling people on the dance and dance cart, now we just bring him down. Mash up the place. Yeah, man, that is Tiger today. Yeah. And even after that, I don't remember Tiger being on the personal sound for himself. But after that, everywhere soul to soul play, Tiger would be there. So that was before his Black Stars days? Yeah, man. Early days. Early Tiger days. just a whole mic and we come on there and, yeah. Yeah? 78, 79. He may have talked a little one song before or so. Mm-hmm. But I think never that, he, he, he wasn't a part of it in a big, big song. Like, right. like that. And we bring him down like that. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, and Tiger's still in touch? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Come look for me, Brady. Yeah? I remember in 1980, um, 1984, 85, Tiger come to America too. But the first time when him come, my bridge in them did bring him down and him do show that connect got much of the place too. You know? Nice, nice. Mm. So apart from Tiger, is there anybody else who a range of a, of, 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 of a tour point in a, in a, in a career? Yes, my yellow man tour. You know, King? you talk about him. Yeah, man, I'm a virgin. Yeah, man. Yeah? yeah we with the monks. We are ring and well done. Yeah, man. That's our... East Kingston. East Kingston. Yeah, we are... We are... We are... We are... between Gemini, Virgo, soul to soul. Gemini, Virgo, soul to soul. Yeah, so yeah. all yellow man get to become a, a part of that circle, you know? He's been the monks for a long time, remember? He, you know? In, when we had to dance at Standpipe, Yellow Man was there. And me and Yellow Man is a good friend, different than otherwise, because he used to come up in our town, come check for me every day. Mm. You know, and we did uh, write the lyrics and we go and dance and fat head. We now live out fat head, because fat head right. there, so. Yeah, and, and we tell us we go enough dance together, even with Beverly Riley. Um, Winston so Riley. That Winston wife? No, Winston Riley's. Um, sister. sister. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool. Uh, she she don't go dance, you know. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, carry her go up dance with yeah. yellow man and fatty go and make her go mash, mash up dance. Mm. Yeah, man. My mom say I think though, Ranger, because, you know, I have spoken to yellow and yellow said back in the days, you know, it was very difficult 
well, he was emerging in the business because you used to have entertainers who used to scan him on the one yes. in the mic. Right. You would have seen that for yourself too. You may see it. I remember one night him come as eight see them with my rip up standpipe and say more on the mic and the man of my like said when me get me, I'm saying no man, me give him the mic. Me always give you the man mic. Mm. Yeah man. Yeah man. So great tiger. Yeah, man. Great yellow man. Yeah, man. The great Lone Ranger yeah. of, a, of, a, of a part in a them emergence yes. in a the yeah, business. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Early days, yeah. Early days. As I tell you, you see, yellow man, after me do Barnabas Calling, the big tune, you know. Him come with me, kill Barney after. Oh, true, true. In first tune, that. So it was like the a counter action. Yeah, the Trill Seekers label, Leon, Leon and Chester Sinmoy. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm going to ask you a question, I probably never asked you before, do Ranger. During, because some people have Lone Rangers a little bit of a bad boy. Mm. No? Yeah, man, in a way, man. <laughs> in, in a way. Yeah. yeah, man, real boy. During, during, along the journey, you know, artists in the business ever have the, a, a lyrical feud or any type of feud? No, I don't do clash business. Yeah, yeah, I might do clash. Let's mm. go up and see, go mash it up. Mash it up, yeah. yeah. And the no artists never gone after it. And if we do, no, and if we do clash, mm. sound clash, back in our time, at the Sony, we call up, and the artist, we call up. Name. Them young boys, you know, that had it, my aunt, we call up your name. And your mother yeah, name. Your mother name, and your <laughs> We never do that. We, yeah. we, we curse the sound. Yes. The idiot sound, you jump and sound, go and everything there. We don't tell the select about going to your mother, and you, you know, we don't do them things there. Mm. So, in, in the music, you were, you know, with the badness thing, but as I said, people yeah. have Lone Rangers, I look up. Bad boy. Yeah, man, I am, man. <laughs> Mercenary, man. Mercenary. Yeah, man. Yeah. DJ business is a long time job. Sit down on the rhythm and my heart be tired. Boom, chat. Run it, you say so. <laughs> Sir Ranger, for the people I'm out there who want to get in touch with the for dub plate and mm. such, how mm. do they go about doing that? Mm. Original version from the case of man called Lone Ranger for dub plate special. You got to link me on 854-4255. Run, run it again. To all the massive and crew, respect Joe. To contact the Lone Ranger, you got to link me on area code one eight seven six eight five four four two five five. WhatsApp, Messenger, Facebook, and to the wall, John. Tell about it. Last on one piece of M sixteen. Mm. Man's an answer. You gotta be pure and clean. To run around Celestia and red, gold and green And so you see what I mean, so you know what I'm talking about Murder style Say Rompin, Sister Jean Rompin Say Rompin, Sister Jean Rompin Till you this a M and this a M16 Come on, cause this a M and this a M16 Me say your ones and you want it to be pure and clean Your ones and you want it to be pure and clean To rally around Celestia gold and green Cause this a M and this a M16 Come on, you want to sweep and this a seem well clean Come on, I'm going to take you by the nearby stream. Say, Sister Pam, you better bring the M1. Because, Sister Jean, you better bring the magazine. Say, you the faster, you better bring the Bushmaster. Because, this a M, this a M16. After me, Mumma took a trip up on a jumping sail. Fi reach in the dance hall with the engine on the tail. Then, all of a sudden, see, she sight one light. Mim, light up with Charlie, and she don't broke no fight. One o'clock or two o'clock, the sheep can duck. Four o'clock or five o'clock, the sheep can duck. Seven o'clock or eight o'clock, the sheep can block. Make we block, we teach them a two night. Wow! Yes, you know. <laughs> Up top. Mad. When you were DJing on the sound and you had to dance, mm. who was the baddest DJ where you come across? The baddest DJ you in know, a one dance and listen with your ears at that time. You have Brigadier Jerry, you have Rankin Joe, Rankin you have Joe yeah. Brown, you have Nicodemus, you have Bobby Culture. Bobby. Them man did bad. Terrible man. Yes. Terrible man. Father Ranger. Man in a play car. You see, any DJ, we can DJ a sound. Have him own sound and DJ it by himself all night. Bad DJ. Bad DJ. He don't need no help. All he needs are two singers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah. done. Is there, you, you have been through the changes in the music from mm. going to the dance, a DJ, mm. voicing, performing on stage now for stage show. Mm. Which out of those three aspects you love the most? DJ in the sound, recording in the booth, or go work on the stage and perform? Dance hall and studio are the same, you know, so mm. I two of them. We love the sound and the studio. You love the sound <laughs> and the studio. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything about the music now, Sir Ranger? Mm. Where you then change if you had the ability to change it? 
pray. Me, me, you know, it's not, me just adapt myself to the situation here, yeah, man. Mm. Because you can't win. <laughs> There's no just business adapt. like show business. Show business like no business. You can't win them all. So you just yes. adapt. You adapt. Makes sense. Yeah, man. So, Ranger, we give thanks. You sit down with a great man. Yeah. And we don't use the word lightly. Right. Yeah, that's that. And yeah. I listen to the man and the man still the sound young and fresh. See you, Boy, it's still a lick. Boy, I thank God for grant me eternal youth, boy. Yeah, eternal youth. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere now. <laughs> yes, brother. So you still put in the work. You say you have Bob, um, yeah, Bob Omar. Yeah, Bob Omar, one, one tree record. Futuristic things are going on. Mm. Yes. I drive, I still don't agree with the man and yeah, man. bubbly personality, right? Yes, but I. It's still right. Up. Still a chop. Yes, still same a way. Chop. <laughs> man, as I respect. Pick up yourself, sir. Yes, sir. It's a joy. Music land, we love you, you hear? Mm. Come dance away the night with all your might. To dig the show, let it go to raise your eyes up to the skies, to swing your girl and make a world. Because this is a session that gives the impression. This is teach them at its best. And he will never let you rest. Boom shack. My old greatest tune time bend down the best disco ten down the best tune to choose when the least of all losers of sounds lift you off the ground. Now we comes out play with another musical list on the double to make it even bubble cause I bubble to teach them crew a bubble. Let me tell you about the sound I know. Teach them sound as so them kill sound so. Now in the morning when the sun comes up, it bring Romano until you when we come and I know. Oh yes I know. Oh, teach them Cuba so we love you so. Right. Oh, this a teach, this a teach them style. No. Teach, this a teach them style. Well, watch your man. Right. Oh, the interview, sweet so. Do it. Oh, the interview, sweet so. When you're young and in love, teach them crew. Respect you. Murder style. Learn for drive, learn for drive, you wouldn't save your one life. Learn for drive, learn for drive, you wouldn't save your one life. Cause when me was a youth at the age of five, me main ambition was to learn how to drive. So when me uncle drive, me prepare with me eyes. Say so on the lonely road, me catch me practice some time. Him show me the clutch up on the left hand side. And the gas that cock up on the right. The bricks in the middle, hold the wheel them tight. If the road ever wet, you can slip and slide. Boom! Turn on me wiper, keep me windscreen shine. Me use me indicator when me turn every time. Me use me, me row when me want look behind. You juke the brakes all, then the wheel them we bind. The first time me drive was at the age of mine. I tell you daddy ring that chat the mic and the type. Learn to drive, learn to drive. Big up! Super cat and early beep on the one day! Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!